So it's the second week of school and already sleep deprived and drowning in anxiety. What a lovely way to start a video. It's way too early in the morning for me to feel hungry, so I never feel like having breakfast, but we already know the instant I sit my butt down into a single one of my classes, my stomach will suddenly start acting like I haven't eaten in the past year. So here's a stunning avocado and egg white toast. Break my heart or put me together. And then for lunch, we low-key had a burrito that we had to make ourselves, but if you saw my last video, you'll see that my school has been doing significantly better in terms of food, so I'm, I'm just gonna stay grateful here. After no joke, 5 hours of golf, I finally came home at around 8pm and was crazy grateful that my parents had already had food just laid out for me the instant I stepped foot into my house. So I have here some beef, tofu, and veggies. I was so exhausted that I literally could have ate sand and I still would have loved it, so this, this right here was very, very bomb. Another morning, another cycle of trying to figure out what food won't make my breath smell or have me crying on the toilet during calculus, and that is how I came up with, I know you won't believe it, avocado toast. But I guess I made it a little bit different by adding up some cherry tomatoes. Uh, Alright, maybe maybe no tomatoes, just avocado toast. And for lunch, we had some baked chicken, some mashed potatoes, some spinach that looked a little bit overcooked. But you know what? It was one of the best lunches we've had in a while, so I was glad. I hope you and I guess the reason my food standards are so high is because look what I have for dinner. Homemade spring rolls that are stuffed with fried fish, chicken, and veggies. I volunteered to do charity and eat all my friends' wet spinach, so I was already kind of stuffed from lunch, but I also had some corn and salad with those spring rolls. It's safe to say this was quite a messy dinner, but super worth it. Then I somehow mustered the energy to work out at like 11pm, so first you start with activation exercises because if you're just glued to your school desk all day and downing 5 cups of pretzels, ahem, could not be me, then jumping straight into lifting 200 pounds might not be the best idea. So I started off with a 215 hip thrust and um, it was very painful. Then approximately 2 seconds of Bulgarian split squats, reverse lunges, and then I'm almost ashamed to say I got distracted and just stared at my jawline for 30 minutes. The next day, I ate the last spring roll and also had it with some grapes because I kid you not, you guys are out here dreaming about Timothy Chalamet, Sh what is his name, Timothy Chalamet or BTS or whatever, but I literally dream, I dream about eating grapes. I guess that gives you a sense of how sad my love life is, but we can look past that, that's okay. At school, I got the vegetarian option of a teriyaki tofu bowl. This was actually super super good, but I was kind of upset that I didn't get the normal option which was like an actual beef bowl, but I am impressed. I have to say my private school is finally giving us the bang for the book. However, it still can't really compare to home food of surprise tofu again, but also not just boiled broccoli vegetables and also some fried chicken. You'll see later, but our school also gives us literally the tiniest bags of a single slice of watermelon for snack, but at home, I just down a fourth of that watermelon. We should get together. literally 11 12 p.m but now i'm going to go work out do you have to work out every day no i mean it'd be amazing if you could but it's absolutely not necessary like all those fitness influencers say just do what your body says basically the only reason i'm working out today is because i really had this one hour before sleeping and the only other option was doing college apps and i'm generally a professional at procrastinating so i would have done anything but write college apps I woke up this morning and said, all right, I'm done with avocado toast. I'm gonna be a chef and make something gourmet. And then I ended up making an egg white omelet. In my defense, omelets are unnecessarily hard to roll up or whatever. So even though this looks like a bare piece of toast with an undercooked lump of egg that came out of a carton, this actually took quite a bit of effort. I might need someone to help me sleep at night and see another day.
But before I show you what lunch my school decided to throw at us today, first let me thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. And this is one of their courses, iPhone filmmaking, create cinematic videos with your phone by the teachers Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray. And I absolutely love it because if you couldn't tell, I actually film all my videos on my iPhone 8. I've always thought that using a big camera was always too expensive and inconvenient, so courses that teach you how to use just your phone are really helpful. I liked how the course was split into clear sections like shooting and editing your footage, because if I ever need to go back confused about one specific thing, for example editing, then it could be really easy to find. Skillshare is open to everyone, whether you're just starting out or a pro, so you can discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. And best of all, all of Skillshare's courses are curated specifically for learning, meaning there are never any ads. So if you want, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare's that you can start today. Okay, so at school, they serve some tofu rice thing and then some pita bread on the side, which I obviously got like three more pieces afterwards, but that's beside the point. I also tried having it with a salad, but I'll probably never get a school salad again because unless you're a fan of bitter wet leaves, then this is probably not it for you. For dinner, I just had some instant udon because my parents were too lazy to make dinner, not that I blame them, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about this. I thought it was guaranteed that instant food tastes bomb because of just how questionable the seasoning is added in, but this was fishy and just absolutely an enormous serving if you include all the soup. Afterwards, I had some more watermelon, which is just, just always good. Okay, so I rarely get this opportunity to wear normal clothes at school because of my uniform. So I'll show you what my outfit is. It's literally just a crop white tee and jeans. But my school has this dress code where we can't show midriff or any rip. So I was kind of worried that I would get a uniform violation or whatever, even for the most basic outfit you could imagine. But yeah, that's my outfit. Good news is, I didn't get dress coded and I'm also sitting on a couch and eating the most lame and plain pasta I've ever laid my eyes on. I also got the piece of watermelon that I was talking about and a jalapeno and cheese roll. Anyways, I was pretty tired of pasta, but yep, the one day I have pasta at school, I have pasta at home. But I also had it with spicy tofu, veggies, and also the shrimp thing that we wanted to try out from Costco. Well, it is finally the weekend, so two days before the cycle of sitting through classes I don't understand and then calling people who also don't understand to help me with the homework I don't understand continues. Anyways, I just had the last of yesterday's pasta and also some egg white toast. After breakfast, I thought I was gonna get an actually good workout in, but I spent too much time procrastinating that and ended up with only 20 minutes. So I did a good five squats and then I was I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. Sweating gross, but now I have to do art. Hmm. While I'm here doing art, let's talk some motivational stuff. All right, so. If you were ever thinking about shaving the baby hairs at your hairline, don't do it. Please, I'm begging you don't. I did it around one year ago and I estimate it's going to take another two years to grow and it's just a sparse thin strand that doesn't match with your hair in the middle of your forehead. If you think that your hairline is uneven and you just can't stand it, trust me, it will be better than a hairline that is still growing to grow uneven, well actually even more uneven than before. Also, when the hair is first growing out, it literally looks like a beard stubble in the middle of your forehead, which is just traumatizing. And the problem is you literally can't cover it. Wax, hair gel, won't work. Maybe for like four minutes before the hair just jumps back to its original place. Whenever I go out, I basically have to wear hats. So in the past few months, I've spent more money on hats than I have ever in my entire life. As long as I've convinced one of you not to do it, I think I've served the community a great deal today. 
if you were hoping for some motivational stuff like never give up in life, um, that, that's important too. But this is this is honestly just as important. Please listen to me. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk today. Okay, for lunch, my parents made some Chinese green onion bread things and also red bean buns. Also had it with some glass noodle soup, random sauteed lettuce because as a family, we are collectively impressively slow at eating salad, so we need to use it up fast. This might be due to the fact that we don't believe in dressing or cheese, so our salads always end up just being lettuce, some random other vegetable, and salt. Mmm, five-star Michelin quality right there. Anyways, for dinner, I first had another red bean bun, and then we baked up some cauliflower, some prime ribs from Costco, and some non-baked vegetables. And the final thing I had this whole week was some noodles with that leftover soup from lunch. The rib was really, really tender. I had it with a little bit of barbecue sauce and it was like good. The cauliflower, you know, crispy cauliflower, nothing much to say. The green beans, they're green and they're beans. I think you can make an